Pickling is the process of preserving or extending the lifespan of food by either anaerobic fermentation in brine or immersion in vinegar. The resulting food is called a pickle, or, to prevent ambiguity, prefaced with pickled. The pickling procedure will typically affect the food's texture and flavor. In East Asia, vinaigrette vegetable oil and vinegar is also used as a pickling medium. Foods that are pickled include meats, fruits, eggs, and vegetables. Another distinguishing characteristic is a pH of 4.6 or lower, which is sufficient to kill most bacteria. Pickling can preserve perishable foods for months. Antimicrobial herbs and spices, such as mustard seed, garlic, cinnamon or cloves, are often added. If the food contains sufficient moisture, a pickling brine may be produced simply by adding dry salt. For example, German sauerkraut and Korean kimchi are produced by salting the vegetables to draw out excess water. Natural fermentation at room temperature, by lactic acid bacteria, produces the required acidity. Other pickles are made by placing vegetables in vinegar. Like the canning process, pickling which includes fermentation does not require that the food be completely sterile before it is sealed. The acidity or salinity of the solution, the temperature of fermentation, and the exclusion of oxygen determine which microorganisms dominate, and determine the flavor of the end product. When both salt concentration and temperature are low, leuconostoc mesenteroids dominates, producing a mix of acids, alcohol, and aroma compounds. At higher temperatures lactobacillus plantarum dominates, which produces primarily lactic acid. Many pickles start with leuconostoc, and change to lactobacillus with higher acidity. History The exact origins of pickling are unknown, but the ancient Mesopotamians may have used the process around 2400 BC. Pickling was used as a way to preserve food for out-of-season use and for long journeys, especially by sea. Salt pork and salt beef were common staples for sailors before the days of steam engines. Although the process was invented to preserve foods, pickles are also made and eaten because people enjoy the resulting flavors. Pickling may also improve the nutritional value of food by introducing B vitamins produced by bacteria. Etymology <inaudible> 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 The term pickle is derived from the Dutch word pekel, meaning brine. In the US and Canada, and sometimes Australia and New Zealand, the word pickle alone almost always refers to a pickled cucumber, except when it is used figuratively. It may also refer to other types of pickles such as pickled onion, pickled cauliflower, etc. In the UK, pickle, as in a cheese and pickle sandwich, may also refer to plowman's pickle, a kind of chutney. Popularity of pickles around the world Asia South Asia South Asia has a large variety of pickles known as achar akara in Assamese, Bengali, Hindi, Punjabi, Upanakai in Kannada, Lonacha Lanakam in Marathi, Upalitathu or achar in Malayalam, Orakai in Tamil, Oragaya in Telugu, which are mainly made from varieties of mango, lemon, lime, gungora a sour leafy shrub, tamarind and Indian gooseberry amla, chili. Vegetables such as eggplant, carrots, cauliflower, tomato, bitter gourd, green tamarind, ginger, garlic, onion, and citron are also occasionally used. These fruits and vegetables are generally mixed with ingredients like salt, spices, and vegetable oils and are set to mature in a moistureless medium. In Pakistan, pickles are known locally as achar in Urdu and come in a variety of flavors. A popular item is the traditional mixed Hyderabadi pickle, a common delicacy prepared from an assortment of fruits most notably mangoes and vegetables blended with selected spices. In Sri Lanka, acharu is traditionally prepared from carrots, onions, and ground dates that are mixed with mustard powder, ground pepper, crushed ginger, garlic, and vinegar, and left to sit in a clay pot. Southeast Asia. 
Singapore, Indonesian and Malaysian pickles, called a car, are typically made out of cucumber, carrot, bird's eye chilies, and shallots, these items being seasoned with vinegar, sugar and salt. Fruits, such as papaya and pineapple, are also sometimes pickled. In the Philippines, achara is primarily made out of green papaya, carrots, and shallots, with cloves of garlic and vinegar. Other versions could include ginger, bell peppers, white radishes, cucumbers or bamboo shoots. Separately, in some provinces, unripe mangoes or barong manga, unripe tomatoes, guavas, jicama, bitter gourd and other fruit and vegetables are also pickled. Siling labuyo, sometimes with garlic and red onions, are also pickled in bottled vinegar. The spiced vinegar itself is a staple condiment in Filipino cuisine. In Vietnamese cuisine, vegetable pickles are called dua moi, salted vegetables, or dua chua, sour vegetables. Dua chua or dua gop is made from a variety of fruits and vegetables, including ka fao, eggplant, napa cabbage, kohlrabi, carrots, radishes, papaya, cauliflower, and sung. Dua chua made from carrots and radishes are commonly added to banh mi sandwiches. Dua kai moi is made by pressing and sun drying vegetables such as kai bi sun and bok choy. Nut mit is a specialty of Nagian and Ha Tin provinces made from jackfruit. In Burma, tea leaves are pickled to produce lapet, which has strong social and cultural importance. Topic East Asia China is home to a huge variety of pickled vegetables, including radish, baisai, Chinese cabbage, notably suan kai, labai kai, pao kai, and tianjin preserved vegetable, zha kai, chili pepper, and cucumbers, among many others. Japanese sukimono pickled foods include takuan daikon, umeboshi, ume plum, gari and beni shoga ginger, turnip, cucumber, and Chinese cabbage. The Korean staple kimchi is usually made from pickled napa cabbage and radish, but is also made from green onions, garlic stems, chives and a host of other vegetables. Kimchi is popular throughout East Asia. Jangaji is another example of pickled vegetables. Western Asia In Iran, Turkey, Arab countries, the Balkans, and the Caucasus, pickles called torshi in Persian, tursu in Turkish language and mikalel in Arabic are commonly made from turnips, peppers, carrots, green olives, cucumbers, cabbage, green tomatoes, lemons, and cauliflower. Europe Central and Eastern Europe In Hungary the main meal lunch usually goes with some kind of pickles but they are commonly consumed at other times of the day too. The most commonly consumed pickles are sauerkraut the different kinds of pickled cucumbers and peppers and sisalamade but tomatoes, carrots, beetroot, baby corn, onions, garlic, certain squashes and melons and a few fruits like plums and apples are used to make pickles too. Stuffed pickles are specialties usually made of peppers or melons pickled after being stuffed with a cabbage filling. Pickled plum stuffed with garlic is a unique Hungarian type of pickle just like sisalamade and leavened cucumber Sisalamade a type of mixed pickle made of cabbage, cucumber, paprika, onion, carrot, tomatoes and bay leaf mixed up with vinegar as the fermenting agent. Leavened cucumber, unlike other types of pickled cucumbers that are around all year long, is rather a seasonal pickle produced in the summer. Cucumbers, spices, herbs and slices of bread are put in a glass jar with salt water and kept in direct sunlight for a few days. The yeast from the bread, along with other pickling agents and spices fermented under the hot sun, give the cucumbers a unique flavor, texture and slight carbonation. Its juice can be used to make a special type of spritzer instead of carbonated water. It is common for Hungarian households to produce their own pickles. Different regions or towns have their special recipes unique to them. Among them all the Vexazi sauerkraut Vexazi is the most famous. Romanian pickles are made out of beetroot, cucumbers, green tomatoes gogonele, carrots, cabbage, garlic, sauerkraut bell peppers stuffed with cabbage, bell peppers, melons, mushrooms, turnips, celery and cauliflower. Meat, like pork, can also be preserved in salt and lard. 
Polish, Czech and Slovak traditional pickles are cucumbers and sauerkraut, but other pickled fruits and vegetables, including plums, pumpkins and mushrooms are also common. Russian, Ukrainian and Belarusian pickled items include beets, mushrooms, tomatoes, sauerkraut, cucumbers, ramsons, garlic, eggplant which is typically stuffed with julienne carrots, custard squash, and watermelon. Garden produce is commonly pickled using salt, dill, blackcurrant leaves, bay leaves and garlic and is stored in a cool, dark place. The leftover brine called rassel, rassel in Russian has a number of culinary uses in these countries, especially for cooking traditional soups, such as shi, rasolnik, and solyanka. Rassel, especially cucumber or sauerkraut rassel, is also a favorite traditional remedy against morning hangover. Southern Europe An Italian pickled vegetable dish is gardenia, which includes onions, carrots, celery and cauliflower. Many places in southern Italy, particularly in Sicily, pickle eggplants and hot peppers. In Albania, Bulgaria, Serbia, Macedonia and Turkey, mixed pickles, known as tershi, tersija or tershu form popular appetizers, which are typically eaten with rakia. Pickled green tomatoes, cucumbers, carrots, bell peppers, peppers, eggplants, and sauerkraut are also popular. Turkish pickles, called tursu, are made out of vegetables, roots, and fruits such as peppers, cucumber, Armenian cucumber, cabbage, tomato, eggplant, aubergine, carrot, turnip, beetroot, green almond, baby watermelon, baby cantaloupe, garlic, cauliflower, bean and green plum. A mixture of spices flavor the pickles. In Greece, pickles, called tursi alpha, are made out of carrots, celery, eggplant stuffed with diced carrots, cauliflower, tomatoes, and peppers. <laughs> Northern Europe In Britain, pickled onions and pickled eggs are often sold in pubs and fish and chip shops. Pickled beetroot, walnuts, and gherkins, and condiments such as Branston pickle and piccalilli are typically eaten as an accompaniment to pork pies and cold meats, sandwiches or a plowman's lunch. Other popular pickles in the UK are pickled mussels, cockles, red cabbage, mango chutney, sauerkraut, and olives. Rollmops are also quite widely available under a range of names from various producers both within and out of the UK. Pickled herring, rollmops, and salmon are popular in Scandinavia. Pickled cucumbers and red garden beets are important as condiments for several traditional dishes. Pickled capers are also common in Scandinavian cuisine. <laughs> United States and Canada In the United States and Canada, pickled cucumbers most often referred to simply as pickles. In Canada and the United States, olives, and sauerkraut are most commonly seen, although pickles common in other nations are also available. Canadian pickling is similar to that of Britain. Through the winter, pickling is an important method of food preservation. Pickled cucumbers, onions, and eggs are common individual pickled food seen in Canada. Chow chow is a tart vegetable mix popular in the maritime provinces and the southern United States, similar to piccalilli. Pickled fish is commonly seen, as in Scotland. Meat is often also pickled or preserved in different brines throughout the winter, most prominently in the harsh climate of Newfoundland. Gardenia, a mixture of pickled peppers, celery and olives, is a popular condiment in Chicago and other cities with large Italian-American populations, and is often consumed with Italian beef sandwiches. Pickled eggs are common in the Upper Peninsula of Michigan. Pickled herring is available in the Upper Midwest. Pennsylvania Dutch country has a strong tradition of pickled foods, including chow chow and red beet eggs. In the southern United States, pickled okra and watermelon rind are popular, as are deep-fried pickles and pickled pig's feet, pickled chicken eggs, pickled quail eggs, pickled garden vegetables and pickled sausage. In Mexico, chili peppers, particularly of the jalapeno and serrano varieties, pickled with onions, carrots and herbs form common condiments. Various pickled vegetables, fish, or eggs may make a side dish to a Canadian lunch or dinner. Popular pickles in the Pacific Northwest include pickled asparagus and green beans. Pickled fruits like blueberries and early green strawberries are paired with meat dishes in restaurants. In the United States, National Pickle Day is recognized as a food holiday every year on November 14. 
Topic: Mexico, Central America, and South America. In the Mesoamerican region, pickling is known as encurtido or curtido for short. The pickles or curtidos as known in Latin America are served cold, as an appetizer, as a side dish or as a tapas dish in Spain. In several Central American countries it is prepared with cabbage, onions, carrots, lemon, vinegar, oregano, and salt. In Mexico, curtido consists of carrots, onions, and jalapeno peppers and used to accompany meals still common in taquerias and restaurants. In order to prepare a carrot, curtido, Simply add carrots to vinegar and other ingredients that are common to the region such as chili, tomato, and onions. Varies depending on the food, in the case of sour. Another example of a type of pickling which involves the pickling of meats or seafood is the escabeche, or ceviches, popular in Peru, Ecuador, and throughout Latin America and the Caribbean. These dishes include the pickling of pig's feet, pig's ears, and gizzards prepared as an escabeche with spices and seasonings to flavor it. The ceviches consists of shrimp, octopus, and various fishes seasoned and served cold. <laughs> Process In traditional pickling, fruit or vegetables are submerged in brine 20 to 40 grams, L of salt 3.2 to 6.4 ounces, imp gal or 2.7 to 5.3 ounces, U.S. gal, or shredded and salted as in sauerkraut preparation, and held underwater by flat stones layered on top. Alternatively, a lid with an air trap or a tight lid may be used if the lid is able to release pressure which may result from carbon dioxide buildup. Mold or white calm yeast may form on the surface. Calm yeast is mostly harmless but can impart an off taste and may be removed without affecting the pickling process. In chemical pickling, the fruits or vegetables to be pickled are placed in a sterilized jar along with brine, vinegar, or both, as well as spices, and are then allowed to mature until the desired taste is obtained. The food can be pre soaked in brine before transferring to vinegar. This reduces the water content of the food, which would otherwise dilute the vinegar. This method is particularly useful for fruit and vegetables with a high natural water content. In commercial pickling, a preservative such as sodium benzoate or EDTA may also be added to enhance shelf life. In fermentation pickling, the food itself produces the preservation agent, typically by a process involving lactobacillus bacteria that produce lactic acid as the preservative agent. Alum is used in pickling to promote crisp texture and is approved as a food additive by the United States Food and Drug Administration. Refrigerator pickles are unfermented pickles made by marinating fruit or vegetables in a seasoned vinegar solution. They must be stored under refrigeration or undergo canning to achieve long term storage. Japanese sukimono use a variety of pickling ingredients depending on their type, and are produced by combining these ingredients with the vegetables to be preserved and putting the mixture under pressure. <laughs> <laughs> Possible health hazards of pickled vegetables The World Health Organization has listed pickled vegetables as a possible carcinogen, and the British Journal of Cancer released an online 2009 meta-analysis of research on pickles as increasing the risks of esophageal cancer. The report, citing limited data in a statistical meta-analysis, indicates a potential two-fold increased risk of esophageal cancer associated with Asian pickled vegetable consumption. Results from the research are described as having high heterogeneity and the study said that further well-designed prospective studies were warranted. However, their results stated, "...the majority of subgroup analyses showed a statistically significant association between consuming pickled vegetables and esophageal squamous cell carcinoma." The 2009 meta-analysis reported heavy infestation of pickled vegetables with fungi. Some common fungi can facilitate the formation of N-nitroso compounds, which are strong esophageal carcinogens in several animal models. Rusan red methyl ester, a non-alkylating nitroso compound with tumor-promoting effect in vitro, was identified in pickles from Linxian in much higher concentrations than in samples from low-incidence areas. 
Fumonisin mycotoxins have been shown to cause liver and kidney tumors in rodents. A 2017 study in Chinese Journal of Cancer has linked salted vegetables common among Chinese cuisine to a fourfold increase in nasopharynx cancer, where fermentation was a critical step in creating nitrosamines, which some are confirmed carcinogens, as well as activation of Epstein-Barr virus by fermentation products. Topic Gallery equals equals further information.